Are you ready to get real? Let's get real. Let's wake up. In 365 Science of Mind, Ernest Holmes gives us a pretty powerful formula for doing this. He wrote that we can all live happily, harmoniously, and successfully with one another when each of us practices a conscious recognition of the presence of love within ourselves and within everyone. We can overcome the troubles and difficulties that we have allowed to enter our lives when we remember that love is that creating and sustaining presence within all. So love is not for lazy people. To exist in love's fullness, sometimes it demands very precise and strong gestures. In other words, action. So I want to present you today with three gestures of love this morning that, if offered, will move all of your relationships to a higher and more holy level. What does it mean to get real about compassion in any or all of our relationships? Being compassion means to listen without judgment, without analyzing or trying to fix being compassionate means asking, how can I understand this better? How can I understand this in a more profound way? And being compassionate means to look at every act of another human being as a call for love. The second gesture that will help us get real in relationships is kindness. Mother Teresa once said, be the living expression of God's kindness, kindness in your face, kindness in your smile, kindness in your warm greeting. And the Dalai Lama said, my religion is very simple. My religion is kindness. Golly, it can get really simple, folks. Or we can just start with simple things. And that sounds... That sounds good, but what does it look like in our lives? Well, how about this? What if each and every day this week, we each consciously did one random act of kindness to a stranger? The third gesture is to be authentic. Another thing that was in that song. If you want to say yes, say yes. If you want to say no, say no. And because being authentic is being real about who you are. It's being willing to show others your strengths as well as your weaknesses. It's being willing to be vulnerable. It's being willing to look foolish. It's being willing to be bold with your visions and dreams and be willing to be clear and honest and direct about what works and what doesn't work for you in a relationship at the same time by applying the first two gestures, compassion and kindness. And it's being willing to say no even if the other person wants a yes. So while we're on this point right here and right now would like you to ask yourself, is there a relationship right now where I am not being authentically me? And would I be willing to clean that up this next week? And we must be authentic with ourselves. And what do I mean by that? That means get real to ourselves about ourselves. Stop lying to ourselves. Realize who you really are. Ernest Holmes writes in The Science of Mind, we must realize our divine nature and relationship to the truth of God. This relationship is one of complete unity. So here's what you need to be authentic with yourself about. You need to realize that you are light in form. You are love in expression. You are creativity walking around. 
and you are life force speaking. You're special. You're amazing. You're an emanation of God. You're an individualization of the divine. So do you have a strong and healthy relationship with the God of your being? Ernest Holmes writes, we must come to realize that at the base of everyone's life, there is a sincere desire to love and be loved. Thus, the most valuable thing any one of us can do is to be a little more certain each day that we are meeting life with a greater sense of love. 